All right, what is this afternoon? All right, peace forever and always, and welcome to a very short edition Wow, of the <laughs> I'm so messed up. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the gatekeeper or the host of the spontaneous broadcast, the mighty one angel snub number seven. And I'm not I'm not going to uh, keep you long. Just wanted to make a short video commentary as I wonder. See, some people can't confess to things. I, I can con con confess to things. And I confess that I'm mentally ill. I, I can confess I'm I'm sick. I can confess that. That's no problem for me because I, I gotta be mentally ill. I have to be sick. If I don't agree with all the things that have been given to me because I'm surrounded by people who are smarter than me. So I'm sick to reject. I'm sick to reject Jesus is my savior. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally ill to reject the honorable Elijah Muhammad is my messenger. Know what you all is my messenger. I'm sick when I tell people I'm not a Native American. I'm, I'm sick when I reject my ancestors being from Kemet. I, I'm sick to be a, a Moorish if I reject being a, a Moorish American. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick. If I don't believe in black supremacy, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a sick I'm a sick sucker. What makes me sick? Why am I sick? I'm sick because I can think for myself in a society where the majority of people do not think. I'm watching TV. And I'm looking at all the different television shows. And most of the programming that you see on social media, TV, cable, whatever, it's directed at adults. And you have all these game shows and people drinking and acting silly. It's, it's all childish. So I'm mentally ill. I'm mentally ill and I'm sick because I'm an adult. I don't want to be like that. You take things too serious, they say. That's what you do when you're an adult. When you become an adult, playtime is over. But you have adults who were children who wanted to be adults. Then when they become adults, they miss their childhood. So they go to the clubs every Saturday, Friday night or whatever to have fun. Most of these women do not even know what a man is. You ask them, what do you want in a man? They, they tell you, they, they will say, I want somebody that like to travel somebody I can have fun with. You're a damn adult. You're an adult. You're supposed to be a grown woman. And the only thing she want out of a man, I want to go somewhere and have fun and make me laugh and giggle and smile. We're supposed to be adults, I, so I'm sick. Because as an adult man, 
I don't do that like that no more. I don't mind having a little downtime and and, and and whatever. I don't mind doing those things, but I'm an adult. And I'm I'm part of a people. I'm part of a people that's in real, real bad shape. So the condition that I find myself in is because the people that I'm birthed from have not yet to develop true manhood. They caught up in the sickness. Even those who talk blackity black and pan African and all this other stuff who tell us we need to get out of the matrix. They don't realize that they are part of the matrix. That all your Pan-African and Moore Science Temple and Nation of Islam and the Aboriginal and the, all your social media stuff, all that's part of the matrix. So how are you gonna tell people to get out of the matrix when you're, you're part of the matrix? See, I'm sick because I was able to disconnect from the matrix, no matter what color it is. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> I'm sick because I'm able to, to disconnect from the matrix, regardless of the color, because the color, the racism, has made you just as sick as the people who put you in bondage. And you wanna fight fire with fire. You wanna turn black into something good when it never was meant to be good. It came from your, your enemy. You can't turn something that they had into something good because it was not meant for that. And so now you're still in the matrix. You're still on the slave plantation. You have no power. It's thousands and thousands of people who believe in black supremacy and more science temple and nation of Islam and whatever, black first and whatever. They don't progress. They don't accomplish nothing because you're still in the matrix. And being caught up in the matrix means you can't use your brain, means you can't, you cannot think. Because in order to liberate yourself, any, anybody in the military, any, any general in the military will tell you, sometimes it's not about how many troops you have, but how you use those troops. <laughs> and I'm not going to be nasty. Hey, I'm not going to be nasty, but I've heard women say it's not about how big and long you are, bro. It's about how you use it. But when you're caught up in something where you can't use your, your mind. When you caught up where you, where you caught up in this box, you can't move. You're gonna stay right there in that box. So these people are still in the same box where Elijah Muhammad left them. Still in the same box that Nuba Juali left them. In the same box that Marcus Garvey left them. They still live in 1950, 1930, 5000 BC. Do you believe had Kemet survived, if Kemet was still in our modern time, do you really believe they would be acting and thinking the way they, are, they did 5000 years ago? Things change, and we don't want to change. Any 
anything, anything or anyone that is alive must change because we are living on this ball that we call earth. It changes. It changes. Even in your family, you don't think and you don't want and act like your grandparents. Many of your grandparents and people we never even knew. That was their time. This is your time. But you're stuck. You're still stuck in a slave mind. And you think you're free because you say, I say. Because you said the most high. Because you wear a bow tie, because you wear a red fez or whatever these things are. And you're caught up in one train of thought, which would be all right if that train of thought made it where you could solve your problems. But your problem is still here. And nothing has changed. So I'm sick because I'm looking at the situation and though I can respect these teachings, I can respect these ideologies, I'm looking at the fact that there's no change. Had I stayed with the same mindset that I had when I was locked up, I wouldn't be talking to you now because that mindset doesn't feed the necessary element of being creative and of change that I needed in order to solve my problem. I'm talking to you because my problem was solved. Many of you truly believe that you have all this knowledge and some of it is knowledge. But the thing about it, if you have knowledge and you cannot apply it appropriately or it's the wrong knowledge for the situation, you still fail. So we still fail. We feel good. We feel good. Still living the problem. The problem is not being solved. And so Angel Slim Nuff 7 is sick. So Angel Slim Nuff 7 is crazy. And it makes people wonder. Just like if you are, I'm just like a person in a room and everybody is sick except me. And they looking at me like I'm crazy. Like I got a problem. You the one sick. All of you are sick. And you look at the healthy person, how come you're not sick like me? Why aren't you sick like me? I'm not sick like you because I learned how to break out of the matrix. I learned how to think for myself. I don't depend on dead people to solve my problem. I don't depend on spaceships. I don't depend on holy books. I don't depend on none of that to solve any of my problems. And you wait on spaceships and you wait on dead, holy, divine people and you wait on some miracle. A miracle did not put us in the situation that we're in. It was men. And it's gonna take a real man to get you out of that situation. Or just be happy. Like we say here on our platform, just be happy being a comfortable slave, which most of us are. 
as long as we can get our three meals a day like they do in jail, like they do in jail, because I was there, as long as they can, can watch cable and play cards and smoke a cigarette, they're all right. They're happy. They're happy in their ignorance. They're happy in their condition. And you're happy on the slave plantation. See, I'm sick because I can't, I can't be happy like this. I can't be like you. I don't want to be ignorant. I know better. You want to be ignorant. You want to be stupid. You want to stay in the condition that you're in. You waiting on your savior, Kamala Harris. You waiting on your savior, Donald Trump. You waiting on your savior, Malcolm X to come from the dead or whoever. But you want somebody to respect you as an adult, respect you as a people when you act like slaves on the plantation, when you act like children. But I'm the one sick. But when those who come here who say I'm sick, when they challenge my sickness, those who wanna call me the child, when they come here, they'll find out real quick who's sick. They'll find out who's the mature. They'll find out real quick who that is. So in this instance, I don't mind being sick. I don't mind being insane. Because I'm free. And see a slave. And we're going to talk about this maybe this weekend. This is all a slave. No, so I'm not angry at nobody. I'm not angry with you. You can call me all the names that you want to. You can say whatever. That don't bother me because I understand. And it's not your fault. We're going to talk about that. This weekend, I hope. We're going to talk about it. why we are the way we are. And you can't help it. These uh, teachings, these beliefs give you a false sense of freedom, of knowing, a false sense. And social media don't really bother you because they see that it's not having any effect. Back when it was original, when these people didn't really know what it was all about, they had a fear. They had a fear of the Moore Science Temple. They had a fear of comedic science. They had a fear of the Moore Science Temple. They had a fear of all these things. They had a fear of Dr. King. They had a fear but now they see you, I got you. And see, I, I, I embrace wisdom wherever it come from. I was watching, I was watching a, I was watching a, some of that documentary from Tariq Nasheed speaking about the early seventies and how these Pekka Woods was bragging. We shut them down. We shut them down. They'll never rise again. Because they know how to shut you down. When I first came to YouTube, it was against their policy to let you beg for money. But then they turn around, wow, give them some money. So now they let you have money and your mind is not about the struggle. Your mind is not about unification. Your mind is about clicks and views so I can feed my family. That's what it's about. It's about you. The original people that came to YouTube, black people came to teach us, to give us certain knowledge. Now it's about what can I do to get clicks and views that feed my family? Buy me a new car. See, they got you. They got you. 
They know you ain't never been nobody in your life. That's why you brag about, oh, nobody watches Angel Snubbin' Up 7. They watch me. You want praise and celebrity. It's not about knowledge. It's not about changing the condition of our people, the masses of the people. It's about self-enrichment. They got you. Because way back in the 1970s, they said, we got these Negroes. They'll never rise again. We ain't worried about no black messiah. That's never gonna happen. And they give you a few jobs. They took Dr. King's little people and gave them government jobs and Julian Bond and Andrew Johnson, Jack Jackson, whatever his damn name, Young and Jesse Jackson. They people they gave people these different positions and gave them money and they sold Dr. King out. They sold Dr. King out. They got you. Never rise again. They got you. And you sell out for 40 pieces of silver. So I'm sick because you can't buy me. There's nothing that they have I want. I want my freedom. I want my own. Because I know if I get my own, it's way more than what they would give you. I want my I want res- my own respect. And you're not getting none of that. So I'm sick. Because I know what I'm worth. And I'm not gonna settle for less. I'm sick because ain't no other man, ain't no Elijah Muhammad, ain't no Malcolm, ain't no Noah Jolly, ain't nobody better than me. They're dead. I'm not gonna let nobody dead be better than me. I don't have to be perfect, but I'm alive. They can't do nothing no more. I'm alive so I can, even when I make mistakes, I can correct my mistakes, I can be better. Dead people can't correct a damn thing. It's over for them. We waiting on dead people to save us. Fictional or they live for real, we don't care. But I'm sick. I don't mind being sick. When you're around people that don't think for themselves and you think for yourself, you the oddball, so you're sick. I'm sick. Because I don't need nobody dead to tell me nothing. I don't need to wait on Donald Trump. I don't need to wait on Kamala Harris. But the people that I'm surrounded by They're caught up in the matrix. But I've disconnected. And I can see that promised land that Dr. King talked about. You know why I see it? Because I can make it. And if you really truly disconnected from the matrix, you will see exactly what I see. You would see that promised land that Dr. King talked about because you're going to make it. But your ass is lazy. You're slowing the mind. You have no creativity. You have no vision. Just a slave on a plantation waiting on a miracle like our people did. And the miracle was the Civil War. If it wasn't for the Civil War, your ass still be on a plantation, chopping cotton and picking tobacco. That's the reality. We're gonna talk about that maybe this weekend. I have to keep it real. There's no, I can't babysit us because we're supposed to be adults. 
And the reason why you're in the condition that you're in, because you refuse to be an adult. Sound like an adult? Physically, physically, you are adult. But mentally, still children. Mentally, still that slave. Still a slave on a plantation. How you doing? All right. We're going to go more into this. If you're brave enough, most people, because you're children, you know how children are. I don't want to hear that. They cover their eyes, they cover their ears, they cover their mouth. I don't want to. That's how these people act because they're ch childish. They're not adults. Because an adult has an open mind and have a problem. An adult is willing to look in all kinds of places so they can solve that problem once and for all. These people making money because you are, because you have a problem. If you, if we solve the problem tomorrow, what would they do? What would Tariq, Tariq the she do? What would Louis Fire Nation of Islam do if the problem was solved tomorrow? What would these committed? What would Dr. Umar Johnson do if the problem was solved tomorrow? They all is over. They don't want the problem solved because that's how they make their living. And many of them would tell you and talk about how. YouTube, I make my own job using YouTube. No, YouTube, slick. They saw that they, they, the platform and Facebook, Instagram keep you slave. That's the reality. And it's not up for debate. Your condition. And you've been on YouTube, you've been on Facebook how long? <laughs> Has your condition changed? <laughs> I have nothing else to say. On that note, we out of here. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. And like I said, maybe we'll talk about this later on this weekend. Ciao. Ciao, baby.